Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. Hello everybody, welcome to Elite Wine TV. I'm your host Mark Fusco here for a very special uh, interview with Ambeline Guillon. Guillon. All right, very nice. Uh, with uh, Ant Ant Antonin. Antonin. Antonin, there we go. Antonin Guillon, Domaine Antonin Guillon. Uh, you've been so gracious to uh, spend a lot of time with me. We went to the cellar, uh, tasted a lot of wine, uh, some great wines, and kind of talked about the history. So we're gonna, a, a very quick, recap of kind of everything we did. So tell us about you, um, tell us about the winery, and let's just go from there. Okay, um, so um, Antonin Guillon, Domaine Antonin Guillon, it's a family estate. Uh, Antonin was my grandfather. Um, and uh, we are very lucky because uh, we have more than 25 appellations in Côte de Beaune and Côte de Nuit. Mm -hmm. So we are going to Gevray Chambertin in the south of Dijon, through Chambol Musigny, so two fantastic villages. Then uh, we are very good and uh, old our Corton, Corton okay. Grand Cru, uh, the one you taste. Yes. Uh, Corton Grand Cru Claude du Roy, Corton Grand Cru Bressande, Corton Charlemagne Grand Cru. And uh, we are going uh, around uh, savigny les bonnes Pernon Vergelès, Zenbone, um, Volnay, Meursault, Puligny Morachet in the south of Bone. Okay. So it's kind of uh, very unique. Uh, and uh, this is our own wine. We don't buy any wine uh, from any other producer. Okay. So we are very lucky to produce our own wine. Okay, well, very nice. Um, so when did the, when did the uh, domain start? Uh, my family has always, be, has always been in the wine business, but uh, it's really my grandfather, Antonin, mm -hmm. uh, in the 1960s, uh, who got the opportunity to buy uh, different appellations in uh, famous villages uh, at this period. So mm -hmm. it's really, uh, at, the beginning, uh, at the beginning, we used to be located in Allos Corton. Okay. When we were smaller, right. But uh, my grandfather decided to move to savigny les bonnes to to have a bigger cellar uh, and a bigger produce, production uh, uh, facility. Facility. Yes. And uh, so uh, now we are very uh, happy with that, and uh, so we are happy to welcome you here in well, savigny les bonnes yeah. So, and this 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 building's been here for about a couple hundred years. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't like new construction. No. <laughs> <laughs> As a, it was the very narrow staircase downstairs. Yes. Let me know. No, that. yes. <laughs> um, and then uh, then your father uh, expanded the your holdings? Yes, my father extended uh, the, the family portfolio. Um, when he came into the business in 1970, um, he, he got the opportunity uh, with my grandfather uh, but actually, it was on his own. Uh, it was his own business, mm -hmm. so not with my grandfather. But he was looking for new land to buy, and uh, he went to Haute Côte de Nuit. So it's just behind uh, Côte de Nuit mm -hmm. uh, on hills. Okay. And uh, it was in the winter. He was looking for good uh, soil, and he was uh, he took an helicopter. So in the winter. You, you had snow everywhere, so he, were, he was flying, and, uh, and he, he saw on a hill um, a face with no snow. So it means that uh, if it's facing south, of course, the snow uh, will, uh, won't be there 
as uh, it means that it's facing south. Okay. Definitely. So it's good exposition. Okay. So it went directly to this hill, and um, and this hill at the beginning used to belong to 80 different owners. Okay. Uh, so there's a little grandfather, the little grandmother, grandmother mm -hmm. of this village. So it used to go to every everybody house uh, to see if it was possible to buy this little part of uh, of this the hill, and at the end um, it succeed because now we have uh, one hill uh, and it's all our property. It's about twenty hectares, and it gives us uh, the possibility to to have a very beautiful uh, first red wine uh, in our portfolio. It's Haute Côte de Nuit, Les Dames de Vergy, mm -hmm. Domaine Dominique, my father, Guillaume. Right. And it's all about wet food, uh, uh, very nice, very easygoing wine uh, to enjoy. So right. we are very happy with it. And I definitely had an opportunity to have some of that. It was a beautiful wine. Um, Thank you. And then, um, so we, we went down into uh, your production area. So talk about uh, the red wines uh, and how they come in and the white wines, how they come in, what you do with those, with the, the grapes. <laughs> uh, um, actually, we, 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 pick up, we pick the grapes by hand. Mm -hmm. It's very important. We don't use any machine. Okay. Um, and first, uh, in the vineyard, we, we sold the grapes when we pick the grapes. And then the grapes arrive at the winery and they are going on a big sorted table where eight to ten people are working on it to get the very best uh, raw material at the end. Okay. And uh, for the whites, the grapes are pressed wool and the must is worked and it's going directly into barrels for fermentation and aging. Okay. Um, and for the red, uh, it's going, uh, so the red are distemmed and it's going into open wooden vat for three weeks of vinification. So it will be first one week of cold pre-fermentation, uh, maceration. Yes. So let me <laughs> say it again. Cold pre... Cold maceration. Cold maceration. Yes. <laughs> and uh, so it will be between 8 to 10 degrees. And then it will be one week of fermentation, natural fermentation. We mm -hmm. don't add any yeast and then uh, one week where we keep the wine working on it and uh, we taste a lot uh, and we try to improve and to to individual individ, individualize uh, our work uh, mm -hmm. a lot to each vat okay. and uh, by pushing down the cap uh, pumping over on different things yeah, <laughs> <laughs> exactly so um so yeah, so you you're uh, you keep it in there for about three weeks, so you can do fermentation, and then you get the good contact with the skins, exactly, you good good color, and then of course your aromas and flavors. Yes, exactly. Um, and then after that, you um, put that into some holding, mm -hmm. some holding tanks for a little bit, so it it, it uh, settles. Uh, after that, we 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 the must is worked, and mm -hmm. uh, it's going into barrels for aging. Right. And then uh, after a year in barrels, it's going into tank uh, for homogenization mm -hmm. and um, depending on the appellation. And at the end, uh, we bottled uh, after, from a year to 18 months, okay. depending on the appellation and the complexity of the wine. And then uh, on the white wines, you, you really just go from barrel to bottle. Yeah. Right. And we saw the three the three barrels of Pudi Nimo. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> so uh, was, it was very cool. So we went down, and uh, you also showed me a lot of the older bottles with all the with all the black mold, and <laughs> um, which was cool. That was black fungus and all that. It was really cool. Um, so you, you've got uh, definitely some some wines that you're keeping here, um, and uh, and we also tasted quite a few of the wines and. Uh, one of the things that was really very interesting was having the um, see was the uh, the it has it not Roy it's uh, how do you pronounce it Roy 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 Roy, Roy. yeah see it's, it means king okay <laughs> oh I get it Ray Wa Rex okay it's all Latin so um, it means king but in French you can write it 
R O R O I or R O Y. Got it. I've and seen both, so I didn't know. Yes. If there was so a... and we we write it uh, in the past, uh, in the old uh, mm -hmm. spirit. So like R O I. Oh, oh, why? Sorry. Right. <laughs> so uh, you had me chase that along with um, the vineyard right, like directly next to it, and that yeah. was the Bresson. Bresson. Corton Claudio. Corton yeah. Bresson Grand Cru and Corton Claudio Roy Grand Cru. Yeah. So uh, they were definitely. It was definitely a great little um, exercise for me because I don't really get to do things like that. And then doing the 15 versus the eight with the Roy. Did I do it right? Roy. In eight. Yeah. By the time I leave here, I'm going to be fluent. No, I won't. I'll be better. Um, so um, those are those are incredible wines. Uh, kind of talk to me about the vintage this year. You said it was a really good vintage for you. 17. Yes. Yeah. 17, yes. Uh, we are very happy about the quality and the quantity of the wine. Uh, because uh, in the last past year, uh, we have a lot of hell. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have such a tiny quantity of, um, of wine, uh, particularly in 16, right. where we only produced 50% of our production. So it's kind of um, complicated. Right. And uh, so in 17, um, we, it's actually, it's unbelievable because we, we had um, a, a first problem um, in April. But okay. uh, all the producers were so close to each other and so motivated uh, to fight against uh, mm -hmm. the frost. So um, they burned um, their those little pots. Yes, yeah. everywhere. And um, I've never seen pictures of that. Yes, and uh, everybody was so involved. Mm -hmm. And at the end, we fight totally again, uh, again it. So. Uh, at the end, the production was some percent, one hundred percent safe. Mm -hmm. So um, it gave us uh, the possibility to to harvest uh, everything, and uh, the quantity was here. The quality, the maturity, uh, to us was definitely here too. So uh, we are very happy. And uh, at the first, during the first tasting. We have beautiful aromas, all mm -hmm. about red fruit already, and the color is very beautiful. And um, I think it will be a, a very nice vintage. Very nice. Well, I'm, I'm excited to, when that comes out, I'll be really excited to try that. And uh, the people that helped set me up with this, I'll definitely uh, get with them to, uh, to make sure I have some of that. Um, I'm trying to think of everything that we talked about, and because I know you're on a very short time. Yeah, yeah. sorry about that. Uh, one big thing, uh, maybe we didn't talk about. Um, we are organic. Yes, yeah, we talked about that. Yeah, uh, we are organic. Uh, we have always been organic, but we decided uh, uh, two, three years ago uh, to be certified. Okay. Just uh, not to sell our wine, but. Uh, just for us to keep um, a strong way of uh, doing and of taking care of the vineyard. Um, so actually 17 will be the first certified vintage okay. for us, just like a Very a nice. New. Yeah. Um, I know one of the things we talked about, so we started with, re with, with reds and we finished with a white. So as it was in the morning, well, it's obviously in the morning right now for us, well, no, that they don't know this morning. Um, so explain why we did that. It's just because, uh, actually, it's in Burgundy, we, use, we usually taste the red before the white uh, because the whites after the red get very clean in the mouth and you get all the expression and the clarity of the white wine after red because of the acidity and, and it's just so beautiful. Yeah, and, and I can tell you, you know, drinking, so we had, so had several reds, and then we had that last white, and it was definitely just uh, more vibrant, and, you know, there was a, more contrast to it, um, where the white was able to really uh, stand out versus um, versus the red. And like I told you before, I actually don't mind doing, messing around all heavy and light, and I'll mix it all up, but it was a nice little different way of doing things, and um, I kind of like that philosophy. <laughs> Um, 
I know you are pressed for time. Is there anything else you'd like to talk about? Or? No, thank you very much for your time and your interest. And I'm well, very, I was very happy to welcome you here. Yeah, well, I to share I'm, this time with you. Yeah, I'm very happy and very honored that you that you spent some time with me and got to show me your your beautiful facility. And I already told you when we leave when I leave here, I'm going to go check out those vineyards. <laughs> um, it's you're very lucky. It's yeah. beautiful, and uh, the vineyard is uh, gold. Yes, all and, the leaves uh, are gold. It's it'll so be a beautiful. little bit warmer now because I forgot to bring a jacket. So <laughs> she's all dressed up perfectly for it. I'm, you know. Anyway, um, so yes, I definitely thank you very much for You're very um, welcome. your hospitality and uh, and let me uh, uh, come by and, and taste some great wine and and uh, see your facility. Uh, that's going to do it for uh, today. As always, everybody, click the links above to friend me up. Click the link below to uh, find out more about uh, the domain and um, stay tuned for more interviews. And uh, we'll see everyone again next time. Thank you. I really appreciate it. You're very <laughs> welcome. All right.